we're hoping to achieve throughout the project is to provide a better quality reuse service to residents that not only helps us as local authorities to reduce our waste, but also helps uh, local people in need through the provision of affordable furniture and other items. Reuse is important for the waste strategy for Leicester because uh, we see it as playing an important role in helping us to achieve our target of 58% recycling, composting and reuse by 2017. We took a very systematic approach to developing a reuse action plan in the area. We developed a list of options in terms of how we could develop a more sustainable reuse sector. These were assessed by the key stakeholders and we ended up with a short list of 15 key actions. The Reuse Action Plan identified the potential to double our use across Leicestershire over a four year period. We're currently reusing approximately 1,390 tonnes across the three local authority areas and the Action Plan identified the potential to increase that. I think one of the key learning points from the Action Plan, particularly for the reuse organisations, was the need to be more business-like in their approach and to, to be a bit more innovative in how they raise extra income. An example of that was Worklink, who have now introduced a range of shabby chic furniture. We take in furniture that is donated from the local surrounding area and we will do anything from repairing a screw, putting a bit of glue on, right down to a complete strip down and rebuild from the very basics. The biggest opportunity is definitely to expand this department. We started with two volunteers once a week. We now have up to 16 volunteers uh, every day, five days a week. The benefits of developing a reuse action plan for the area are that it is invaluable in bringing together the key stakeholders that are needed to develop a more sustainable reuse sector. One of the key benefits for me being part of a reuse network is the support from the other people within the network and the sharing of skills within that network. And being part of the forum, uh, our own particular organisation has been able to increase the volume of items um, put from reuse. The first two key priorities of the new reuse network will be to um, work alongside uh, the companies on the tip sites for us to go into the sites and collect their waste electrical items which will increase the volume we have to deliver to families in need. Also to take on the Leicestershire Welfare Provision Contract, uh, the former social fund and working in partnership will hopefully enable it to continue. For the Reeves Network going forward, the different stakeholders have got perceptions about the ability of the different organisations and what they can and can't do. One of the key challenges is about how we break down those perceptions and build that trust and that understanding so that they can collectively achieve the development of a more sustainable reuse sector. One of the key drivers for working in partnership was the importance of looking at reuse from the residents' point of view and how we can make it as easy and convenient and reliable as possible. So in order to do that, working in partnership is key.